Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Today I'm going to show you how to animate the camera like a first person view so you get the head bobbing up and down. So I have a cheeky little scene set up um, so you can get your scene set up however you like. Um, we have four active screens here. So we've got the 3D model, an overview. Then in the left here, we've got the camera view. Bottom left, we've got the timeline. And on the right at the bottom, we've got the graph editor. Okay, so that's, that's just how I set things up. Um, so what we want to do is select our camera like we have there. Um, and then we need to press uh, the I button. Um, so this will give us the location to start with. As you can see, we've just inserted a keyframe. You could hit this button here. Um, which is auto keying so if you was to move it up and move your camera it would place an auto a key in straight forward but I just like to press the I button <laughs> um, so what we're going to do now is just take it up to frame 120 you can take it to whatever frame you like and then move our camera to wherever we want so I'm just going to move it to the end of the hall there and then I'm just going to press the I button and location so you can see here we've now got two two keyframes you can see in our graph editor on the Y axis, we've now got our um, motion. Um, but with this motion, we've got an ease in and an ease out. So basically, it's going to be slow to start, then it'll speed up, and then it'll slow down to the end. Um, you can leave that like that if you want, uh, but I prefer a constant speed. So what I'm going to do is in the graph editor, obviously make sure your Y is selected right click interpolation type and linear so now you can see we've got a constant speed here constant in constant out so we don't have to worry about slow starts and slow finishes but I say it's down to you it's whatever you feel you need to do right so now on with all the good stuff this is like the head bobbing so click select your Z location um, select modifiers here on the right hand side you may be on F curve but select modifiers and then select noise and you can see here we are well it's not great when you look at it it's almost like there's an earthquake going on <laughs> um, so what we need to do is change the scale um, I found around about 2.5 is good and the strength um, 0.06 so it looks like there's no um, modifier on there but there is so if we have a look at our animation you can mess around with these all you like um, and you can see there we've got a nice little head bobbing action or a walking motion going on there um, you can also restrict the keyframe the, the frames to I prefer not to have the key the bobbin straight away so I'm going to select that we're going to start the bobbin at say 20 at frame 20 and finish at say 115 um, so remember this is like I think this is like 30 frames a second so it's like less than a second um, but it looks better so we start off and then we got the head bobbin and then at frame 115 we should stop the head bobbin um, and you can do that throughout your animation so you're not always getting the when I first sort of started using this um, I didn't realize you could restrict the frame range um, and it was just standing still bobbing up and down <laughs> but you don't want that so you can re just restrict it um, and that's it it's a very sort of rough way of doing this I mean there may be a uh, plugin that you can use I'll have a look and then report on that if you like um, but yeah that's how you that's how you can do a, a head bobbin first person view camera view hope you liked the video if you did give us a thumbs up don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell for more great videos and we'll see you on the next one thanks for watching ta-da